Good morning, Miss Dora. Good morning, teacher. The usual? Sure. Four donuts and a cup of coffee. Nice. <laughs> Don't you ever want anything else for breakfast, Andy? Uh -uh. Not so long as they're your donuts. Flatter. I think you like to pay me compliments. I do. Look at this heaven new teacher. It's after nine o'clock. Wait till I ring the bell. I'll make him hurry. Dora, you know, you'd make a fine wife for some man. Do you think so? Oh, sure. I'm sure you would. Did you ever think of uh, getting married? Well, yes. You have, huh? Oh, yes. But the right man never asked me. He didn't, huh? No. <laughs> 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 I'm late for school. Hurry, the you? first time in 20 years. Hurry, hurry, Andy. Oh. Hurry. <clears throat> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Andy. Goodbye. Nothing for a young fella like me. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, more fault off that bicycle. <laughs> By way of apology, we'll have the music lesson first. Ah! <laughs> what is it, Shirley? Please, teacher, what general was five letters and his name was buried in Gramps tomb? What general with five letters and his name is buried in Gramps tomb? C. Lee, that's the Jackson. No, uh, Pershing. Still Hale and Hardy. Uh. <laughs> Now, first, we'll take the roll call. Hiram Abbott. Joshua Finch. Tom and Henry Hemingway. Abram Stone. He stayed home. Somebody broke his sack and he fell. William, John, and Robert Blunt. Silas Paul. Gordon Cole. Raya Pratt. Daniel Moe. Baron Spree. Now for a little long exercise. Ah, 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 Now hold that note until I tell you to stop. Uh, What is it, Nora? What is it? What's happened? Andy, at 
fast, I found a way to make a perfect donut. What? Better even than the ones you have been making? Take one. How do you like it? Dora, there never was a donut like that. Of course there wasn't. But look, watch me duck it in the coffee. My goodness. Let me dunk one. on the radio, you'd make a fortune. Yes, but think about the cost and how about the actors. I never thought of that. Goodness, I forgot to stop him. You see, I left him at... in Miss Dora's Bakery, in our street. Right. Please, we can have some donuts, Mr. Wilson. I sure do. Come on, come on in. Right. Come on. Continuing the Cackleberry Farm program where hens are happy, Miss Gill will now render a foul song <laughs> as a chicken would sing it. Miss Gill. hasn't showed up yet, what'll I do? Well, keep her cackling till I see if I can locate it. <laughs> if she cackles another number, she'll lay an egg. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Are you Mr. Wilson? Uh, sure, sure, that's me. This is my program. Well, hurry, hurry, you're on the air next. Hurry up. We're on next. No, we're on next. Now, come on, I'll stick together. Uh, Oh, uh, the noise you hear, the uh, folks are being seated. Ah, uh, yeah, you'll uh, pardon the slight delay, folks. I had a flat tire at Knoxville. Oh, yes, Mr. Wilson had a flat tire at Knoxville, uh, but he didn't say who she was. <laughs> Introducing the new program, Mr. Andy Wilson and his dunkers. And, uh, just a moment, folks.
Uh, the noise you heard, folks, uh, wasn't a storm. It was Mr. Wilson arranging his music. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilson, it's yours. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this program is to introduce Dory's Dunking Donuts. They float. Remember the name, folks. They are baked by a little Dora herself. Are you listening, Dora? Yes, Andy. I'm listening. Uh, uh, Dora's Dunking Donuts. Dora's Dunking Donuts. Dora's Dunking Donuts. They are the rage of the land. No cookie, cake, or candy could be as fine and dandy. As Dora's Dunking Donuts, you'll be nuts about her donuts. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night, and still they won't sink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know, they float. Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, they are the rage of the land. No cookie, cake, or candy could take a fine and dandy. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night and still they won't sink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know they blow. It was very well played, very well played. Now, I want three boys to do a dance. Jimmy and Bill and Richard. program, ladies and gentlemen, is the best dancing act you have ever seen. Take it easy, boys. There's nothing, there's nothing to it. Mr. Wilson, I'm not giving the compliments, but you have a splendid act. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that, because you know Miss Dora sunk her last dollar in this program. You have nothing to worry about whatsoever. Oh, thanks a lot. An awful lot. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Hello. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Miss Dora. Dora, this is Andy. Are you listening to the program? Yes, Andy. You sound splendid. Ladies, 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 please. Oh, the manager just told me what a great sensation. Take your hands off of me, you big scissor, Bill. No radio manager can tell me where to head in at. <laughs> Andy, Andy, what's wrong? No, no, there's nothing wrong. My things couldn't be better. We're a sensation. That's all there is to it. Uh, oh, my, oh, my, oh. the drama of Little Red Riding Hood, playing the three parts myself of the little girl, the grandmother, and the wolf. Now, Andy, 
And the bear? And the bear. Uh, there is no bear, ladies and gentlemen. Surely. Uh, uh, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. Mr. Wilson! What is it? What? You put on the wool of a tramp. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a little mistake. Uh, and there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She was going to visit her grandmother in the middle of the forest. <coughs> the trees were chirping to the bear. They, they chirped. They, uh, the grandmother was sound asleep in bed. There's a knock at the door and the grandmother wakes up. Grandmother wakes up, Shirley, will you please? Get away from here, will you please? Uh, naturally, the grandmother thinks it is Little Red Riding Hood, but it isn't. <laughs> Who is it? It's the great big hungry wolf. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Mind your business. Where's the wolf? Where? Who's got the wolf? The wolf! Wherever that woman is, there's always trouble. There certainly is. Quiet! Oh, get out of here. Me, I'm going home. Listen, uh, we're in the middle of the program. Oh, I don't care. Come on, I don't care. 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 There's only a minute. That's enough. I've had enough of this. Be careful, don't you? Lady, that's the straw. I've had enough. Get out. Stand back. I said get out. Get him, men. Get him. There is no hope. Ladies, look, story, dunking, don't let them flow. Cheer up, Andy. You did your best. Oh, sure, but I just wasted all Miss Dora's money for nothing. You know, Miss Dora, I had no idea the program was such a success till after I'd thrown Mr. Wilson out. Success? Why, well, we're simply swamped with orders. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but to make amends, I want to offer Mr. Wilson and your donut program free time for a month. Will you sign here, please, from the bottom line? I'll see you on the air Friday at 2 o'clock. But you And I was a success? Why, that comedy battle you saved was a riot. Comedy battle? Yes. How did you ever come to think of it, Andy? It just happened. Huh? 